30 years ago. October 31st, the Earth continues to rotate on its rusty axis, just like every year. Halloween returns to pay us a visit, and the same every year. I ask myself where people find the energy to celebrate. without finding an answer. Let me introduce myself. My name is Tony Tuff, private investigator in the service of this prestigious agency for many years, as well as a third degree holder in the order of Winks. I've been working here out of the limelight for 10 years now, when a critical case was given to me. I have to stop a mysterious swollen-headed maniac who robs the noisy hordes of children of their candy. And dear me, continues to do so. But tonight will be different. After years of exhausting research and humiliating failures, I believe I am just a step away from the truth. All of this goes far beyond the theft of candy from innocent babes. Careful analysis of the profile and reports by the young victims have convinced me that this involves an alien plot to conquer our planet. The candy is just the point of a huge iceberg. Mine is a solitary fight, shoved to the side and misunderstood. But tonight, I will demonstrate to the world that these are not the ravings of a paranoid private detective. I will show the world who Tony Tuff is, and I will stop this intergalactic scoundrel once and for all. Oh yes, this is my dog, Pantagruel.
It's Pantagruel, my dog. And how do you use a dog? Ah, maybe I understand now. Pantagruel, go get my slippers. Ah, forget it. And why should I? The dog is already mine. Would you quit chewing on that revolting stuff for a minute? No, I said we're not going to the fun fair. Not tonight. Now listen, pup. Before we set about saving the planet, according to the Venerable Archibald Wallace's Little Private Eyes Handbook, we really must get ourselves a wig. I quote, A wig is an essential prerequisite for proper investigation of a case. Now, Pantagruel, you take care of the upper floors. I might not be able to concentrate properly with all those people laughing at me. I'll comb the basement. What a good doggy you are! All right, Tony, let's get to work. A good wig is the first step on the road to success. Tremble in your boots, you treacherous aliens. It's a small collection of masterpieces. There's the Private Detective's Manual by the great Archibald Wallen, the Holy Bible, How to Multiply Your Capital from Jesus Christ to Donald Trump, and Sing from the Nape of Your Neck All the Secrets of the Eminent Professor Luke Just. The old tenant handed it down to me. May he rest in peace. Not on your life. I still have nightmares of when I took it down alone. Do you see those strange dents on the right? Well, they must be the impression of the teeth in my upper jaw. It helps me keep the floor dry. You can bet your life that I don't put my hands there. I'm sure that some tropical disease is just waiting for that in that disgusting bucket. And I believe it, all right? Isn't it amazing? I bought it for nothing at a charity sale. No, the screenwriters assure me that I don't need it. I don't want to touch it. I worked on it for hours so that its distance from the desk will be a factor of the average distance between Uranus and Pluto. It's the prize for the speed with which I recovered from that nasty attack of botulism. They gave it to me at the hospital. Thanks for asking. Wow, just like the real ones. I can't open it. It's swollen from the humidity, and I've been trying to break it open for years. It would be better not to waste it. This stuff has to last me for the next six months. It's an identikit from an eyewitness, one of the most precise and reliable ones I've ever seen. It vomits slime and stinking air on me 24 hours a day. Hmm. Great idea, as if it were custom made. Hmm. Hey, my name's written on it. It's red and soaking with an otherwise unidentifiable mush, but it's the only one I have. It's shaking on rusted out screws. I'm not thirsty right now, but even if I were, I certainly wouldn't drink from here. Ugh, my poor back. But what kind of player are you? Since when are you supposed to inspect doors? A worn out flowered smock. It'll be difficult to put it on while it's hanging up there. Well, that doesn't mean I can't do it, but it does mean it would be much easier for me if you just pick it up. Wow. 
It exhales disgusting odors. Judging from the chaos that rains down here, it has to have been a long time since the cleaning lady came by. Halloween comes around only once a year. Why be satisfied with a miserable tacky costume when for just a few hundred dollars you could buy a high-class costume like the illiterate shepherd girl outfit from Karak Inc. The kit includes a cheery country-style outfit in washed wool. The rest has been torn away. It fits perfectly. The Karak Inc. Illiterate Shepherd Girl Kit includes a cheery country-style outfit in washed wool, a bunch of top-quality fake flowers, and a typical Swiss folk scarf. The number of sheep on this brochure is somehow irritating. It's the nicest I've ever seen, big and sturdy. Tony Top Airlines thanks the passengers for having flown with us. The captain and crew wish everyone a pleasant stay. That's Panda Girl scream, and it's not yet dinner time. I have to go upstairs. My dog might need some help. But then it's all true. That cleaning lady who got lost in the maze of offices at the agency years ago and never came back isn't a legend. Great heavens, I am moved. My palms are sweating. I don't know what to say. Um, that's one small step for man and one giant step for mankind. And what should I do? Cut it into pieces and put it in my briefcase? It has a firm grip on his hand doesn't let go, obedient to her duty to the very end. I have never seen such a clean pit. The inscription says Vitam Egit Nitidam. It reminds me of my Latin classes at high school. Ans, es, er, um, er, ibus, abus, ibus, um, er. The first rule in Latin is always mumble. I definitely did the right thing hiding those slices of bologna in my shoes. The mix of smells won't let those damned alligators smell them. I'm not sure, but if you stick your hands into that mush, you'd probably pull out four of them. It certainly was more useful when it was in its place. Now it won't keep away undesirable reptiles anymore. Pantagruel! Where are you? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Great trophy, Butch! I got it while it was running away. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. 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 Got him! Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. It's those jerks, my colleagues. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Excuse me, everyone. Hey, Dudley, you remember that group therapy we did to ignore our co-workers? Co-workers? 
We have co-workers? <laughs> <laughs> You know what's happened to my doggy. You really don't want us to believe that you've given up hunting down aliens and looking for Hitler's hibernated brain, do you? Why did your dog run away? Just like that. Well, the time has come for you to know that what you're looking for and what you stupidly insist on calling a little dog is a fat violet taper. But, 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 but... And that your fat violet taper was wandering around here a little while ago. But didn't you hear that blood-curdling scream? Well, then it wasn't Charlie sticking his fingers in the electric pencil sharpener again. <laughs> <laughs> you don't happen to know any new jokes. Listen to this, Tough. What's small, ugly, smelly, and lives in the sewers? <laughs> Uh, sewer rat? Almost. I'll give you a hint. It wears glasses and a raincoat. <laughs> there, there. One of those disgusting mutant ninja turtles that live in the sewers. Excuse me, Butch. Yes, Dudley? I'm beginning to believe that your theory about some people belonging entirely to the mineral world is correct. <laughs> No other news? Well, last night, Butch solved that case of black market pig trading. Of course. Once again, I can just smell a promotion. <laughs> it wouldn't be pigs you smell, would it? I gotta say that even if you've come out looking like an idiot, you still have a sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough for tonight. Before you leave, could we ask you a question? Of course. Well, could you tell us what you've been tracking down the last few days? I'm still tracking down that elusive alien menace. That criminal genius who only steals candy and other goodies? Exactly. Damn. Ah, <laughs> uh, looks like you owe me 50 bucks, Butch. He's still on that case. Pathetic. See you later, guys. Why? You've been invited to the big Halloween ball at the Wallens Mansion? Well... Well, don't count on it, Tough. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Sir Archibald Wallen VII, a man of high and noble moral <laughs> principles, dedicated his life to the fight against crime, blah, blah, leaving a posthumous blah, manual blah, for blah, private blah, investigators blah, with a wild blah, chapter blah, on the use blah, of wigs in all blah, its blah, thousands blah. of different details. He died impaled in Borneo in the desperate attempt to initiate local tribes into the use of blah, toupees. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Does it really blah, hurt blah, so much? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. blah Have you blah, seen blah, what blah. happened to my purple assistant? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I hope someone will hang up my head close to yours blah, someday. Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah, blah. You're blah, my blah, idol. Blah. Regards. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. My dear Mr. Top, the fact that you can read this message leads me to believe that those evening courses really do work the miracles they promise. Who knows? Maybe you'll even be able to write in a few months. But let's not rush. Now the important thing is that the total vacuum that you have between your ears lets you understand this. Your stinking beast is in my clutches! If you don't want to get him back in installments, go to Halloween Park tonight! <laughs> Sincerely yours, Jack O.L. I just hope this isn't another one of those advertising gimmicks. Blah, blah, blah.